Wild leeks are awesome. This video takes you from me first finding the patch all the way to making a dip. Check it out. It's May 10th here in Southern Ontario. And I'm just out, I've been doing some research on wild edibles. And I believe that this is a wild leeks or ramps. Cool. So they're clearly not ready from the research I've done. Let's see if I can find some more. I just pluck a tip of a leaf. Yep, which is definitely garlicky and oniony smelling and tasting. So cool. I went ahead and harvested two of the biggest ones I could find uh, just because I really want to try them. <laughs> right on. So I'm back to the leek patch I found five days ago. It's April 15th now. Uh, they're really coming up pretty well. Dog stepping on them a bit, but that only is going to hurt the leaves for this year. And it's not going to damage any of the bulbs or anything like that with it being a perennial. And if they can't take animals walking on them, then they wouldn't be flourishing the way they are. <laughs> and she loves it back here. So I am, I realize they're still immature, but I am going to harvest just a few of the biggest ones so I can make a fresh leek dip as well as put them in the scalloped potatoes. All right, so I've never done this before. I'm just gonna, so I take everything that I see in this video with a grain of salt. But uh, I watched YouTube videos just like you're watching right now and that's how I even learned these things existed. Put my shovel in. It's bent already. <laughs> Piece of crap. And so, I don't know, um, there's probably people watching this video right now saying, you know, this guy's wrecking them, or then I might be. So just any comments you got on how to do this properly, I'm all ears. And I do realize that these are very um, young still, but I'm just, I'm only literally going to take maybe, I don't know, a dozen of them. So I got that, and I'm just gonna separate them out. Yeah. Right on. I'm gonna go, I'll repack the dirt in here. And this is a huge patch. And nobody more than me wants it to be sustainable because no one else is picking leaks back here. It's private property, I have permission, the landowner doesn't care for them. So, Nobody more than me wants it to be sustainable, so if there's any tips or anybody out there has got any information, um, and if I'm doing anything terribly wrong, let me know. Wild leeks, Thanksgiving dinner in the scalloped potatoes, and the dip. I'm excited to try it. My shovel broke in half. Guess that's what you get for nine bucks at Walmart. Clearly gonna need a better tool. Piece of junk. So I've got enough leeks for my dip <clears throat> and for the scalloped potatoes. So I'm just going to give them a quick rinse in the creek so I don't have to pack all this dirt back home. And it's my understanding, again, I just learned from YouTube and uh, do all your own research before you go out in the woods and start picking up stuff off the forest floor and eating it. <laughs> but these are a wild leek, and one's red and one's white, but they're both edible wild leeks, and you can tell they're leeks because of the white stem and the bulb at the base. The young ones don't have much of a bulb, and it's got two green leaves, sometimes three apparently. These ones all seem to have two, but what really tells them apart is they smell like garlic and onions. And when you break a leaf off and kind of squish it up in your fingers, it's unmistakable garlic 
and onion. So I'm gonna rinse these off. So I got my wild leeks all rinsed off and it's my understanding that you can eat um, every portion of this plant, uh, the leaves, the stems, and of course the bulbs, uh, even down to the roots. Um, I'll just be using the uh, everything but the roots um, in my dip and potatoes. So sweet, I'm pumped. They smell so good. And I am gonna come back uh, when they're further along. Um, I don't know when that's gonna be. I'm gonna check on it every five days or so um, and do a pretty significant harvest. Um, uh, dry some out my dehydrator um, as well as uh, hopefully pickle some of the more substantial uh, bulbs. Uh, try pickling them uh, like a pickled garlic. So I'm excited to do that. And they're really good. not too um, not too potent at all when they're this stage so I don't know if they get stronger flavored or not but they're really nice right now really mild garlic onion -y. yeah buddy so one thing I heard you don't want to do is even though these ones are a lot further along and they look great for as far as size it's just a little patch I mean, there is a few other ones around, but it's just a little patch and I'm not going to mess with it. And then that way it can continue to spread as it's, as it's doing. And I'm just going to wait and have patience and uh, harvest those ones from just down the hill in that huge patch. And then that way, uh, that's going to be way more sustainable. And like I said, when I, when I said significant harvest, I still probably will only be taking 2% out of any given patch and almost an unmeasurable percentage of the leeks that actually exist uh, in this forest. And I'll still be able to get probably a half a dozen jars of, of pickled leeks as well as a bunch of dried out um, leeks as well. So I'm excited. And this is going to be good dip. I know it. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so now I'm going to wash, fully wash all the dirt off of these leeks, remove the little roots, cut the roots off from the bottom, and then mince them up, cut them up into little chunks. And if I have to walk you through those two steps, you probably shouldn't be stumbling around the bush looking for things to eat, let alone using a sharp knife. So they're all clean. I cut off all the roots and you can eat the roots I'm just not going to I watched a video where a, a guy really cleaned them up really nice and then dried them out and apparently they're good in salads and stuff let's get chopping half cream cheese and half Sour cream. I softened the cream cheese in the microwave for ah, 15 seconds. Leeks. I didn't put all of, I'm not gonna put all of the ones I chopped up in, but most. And you gotta have your red pepper flakes. Get some of them in there. Yeah, buddy. And salt and pepper to taste. I'll undoubtedly be adding probably a bit more salt. It's 
So that's Wild Leaks from the forest floor to the table. A uh, bunch of the other ones I'm, we're going to put into the scalloped potatoes for this Easter dinner. I made this dip. I'm also going to dry a bunch out of the dehydrator and kind of make like an onion powder for like a seasoning. So there's lots of different things you can do with them. This dip is really good. It's really good. But like everything in this video, take it with a grain of salt because I have never done any of this stuff before. Do your own research before you go walking around in the bush looking for things to eat because you will hurt yourself if you don't do your research. So do your own research and good luck out there. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this.